from spy movement. Well failed. That's 15 pounds. Failed at 17 pounds. 17 pounds of pressure of pull. Telltales on this, so I guess it'll work. Failed. Okay. Let's see where we failed at. Only yeah. nine pounds. The same to same was better. That's interesting. Seemed to seem to be better. This failed at night 29 pounds. Okay. That's that's much better.
Uh, let's try it again. Now we've got some more travel. So we set the top tail. something 40 some pounds that double coat seemed to have done something to 50 which is go we're starting to fail starting to fail at starting to fail at 50 pounds shit I just broke the skin it exceeded 50 pounds of pressure, which is a maximum on that scale. As you can see, the scale broke. This, however, is still intact. It is starting to lift in one corner, but not much. That is still intact. I'm gonna fix this, see if I can fix the scale so that we can do some more. There's something interesting. The material tour. This piece left in here, that means the glue seemed was stronger than the material. That's interesting. Alright, we had two coats on this. This is a seam to seam sample. 3 inch glue surface on each one. First coat was put on at 1.15 p.m. Second coat at 2.30 p.m. And I put them together at 9.30 p.m. last night. Uh, right now Right now it's 8.47 a.m. the next morning, Sunday morning. All right, we'll see how we do this time. I don't know, this is pretty weak. The handle is just pressed into a couple of holes. No through, no through connection. So I don't know if it's gonna hold together. But we'll give it a try. That's it. By 50 pounds, that's, it. that's the capacity of the uh, spring scale. So I'm afraid that's it. Don't want to break it again. However, it's clear that two coats is far superior. On both the seamless and the seam, it holds in excess of 50 pounds. In excess of the other one because it broke the uh, handle. So it was 60 to 70 pounds perhaps. This one is definitely 50 pounds. That's as far as we're gonna go with it. 